From a sports academy of 250 students in Nagpur, 90 students were rejected in cricket selection, 80 students got rejected in football selection. So we are looking at a Venn diagrams of rejection. So we are looking at 250 students, so total is 250, cricket and football and badminton. So there are three of these things. So let me draw three. One, two, and three. So let's call this as cricket, football, and badminton. Now here, the circles represent the, the students who are rejected, not selected. So keep that in mind. So people who got rejected in cricket are 90. People who got rejected in football are 80. And people who got rejected in bas uh, badminton are 120. Find the number of students who got rejected in all the three sports if 20 students got selected in all the three sports. Now remember, if 20 students got selected in all the three sports, then outside should be 20. Why is it this 20? Because these circles represent rejections. So if somebody who is not rejected at all in anything should be completely outside. You can't put these 20 anywhere inside. Okay. And 42 students were rejected in exactly two sports. So exactly two sports. So let's call this as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So E, D plus E plus F is given to you as 42. And you want to find, uh, you, you want to find basically the value of G. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, Please remember this is exactly 2. What is A plus B plus C? A plus B plus C represents exactly 1. And what is G? G represents, G represents exactly 3. And outside is 20. So my 250 should be equal to 20 plus exactly 1 plus exactly 2 plus exactly 3. Because my 250 should be everything put together. So now I already have the value of exactly 2, which is 42. So 42 plus 20 is 62. So my exactly 1 plus exactly 3 total should be 250 minus 62. So how much would this be? Uh, 200 minus 12, which is 188. This is one equation. The other equation is if you add these circles, what do you get? If you add this full circle, then if you add this full circle, then if you add this full circle, you will get A plus B plus C will come only once because A is coming once, B is coming once, C is coming once. So that is exactly one plus. Now E, D and F will come twice each. Why? Because E is there both in C and F that is cricket and football. Similarly, F is there in both badminton and football. So your exactly two will come twice. And your G will come three times. Why? Because the G is there in every circle. So three times exactly three. This total is equal to 90 plus 80 plus 120. So 120 plus 80 is 200. 200 plus 90 is 290. Right? So here again we know exactly 2 is 42. So I will get from here exactly 1 plus 3 times exactly 3 is how much? 290 minus 42 to the 84. So this will be 206. Now subtract these two equations. So I will subtract this. So E1, E1 gets cancelled. 2 times E3. 2 times E3 is 206 minus 188. So that's 12 plus 6, 18. So you will get exactly 3 as 9. That is your answer. Let's continue.